Okay guys, we're gonna do another how-to for you. This time we're gonna show it to you in an orthodox stance. So it'll be labeled on, on Facebook and YouTube. So if you're a southpaw left-handed, then you go onto the southpaw video. If you're orthodox or right-handed, choose that one and you're gonna be able to see exactly where we're targeting. So when you're on a heavy bag and you're trying to identify onto a heavy bag where my opponent's head versus their body is, where my threes and fours and everything are supposed to be landing, that's what we're gonna show you in this how-to, but we're gonna use the rock steady dummy, just like we did in the southpaw video, but this time I'm gonna show you guys in the orthodox stance, and so you can get that visual from the other sides. Okay, so if I'm here in front of my opponent, I'm in my boxing stance ready to go, we're gonna start with our one. So that's our left jab. It's gonna come right into the opponent's chin area, nose, side of the eye. Those are the areas that I'm wanting to kind of identify when I'm throwing my jab. So when I throw that one, I want as well as my two. Okay, so boom, my two is gonna come in the same area. In this front of the face area here, which would be the front of a heavy bag. If I'm going to the body, to hit, I'm typically going to be aiming for the middle of the abdominal area or the solar plexus. The chest is also an area that I can hit, which is also pretty painful. It's a very thin layer of skin and it's right next to your, your chest plate and bone. So by driving my two right into that area, that's gonna be a very effective punch as well. But for body shots, lowering to the level I'm trying to hit, head shots are gonna go right down the middle, okay? My three, if I'm too far away, it's going to force me to have to come really wide. So again, I've gotta move inside to be able to start my inside work, which is my threes, fours, fives, six, sevens, and eights. So I'm in a range where I'm shortening up my three, okay? Now my hand is dropped down, so I don't wanna cover my mouth and you can't hear me, but my, my hand needs to be elevated to my temple as I'm throwing this three. So my opposite hand is here. I'm going for the side of his jaw. gonna be an area that I can hit. The side of the temple is an area that I can hit with my three, but the ideal target is gonna be right at the bottom of the jaw, to clip him at the bottom of that jaw. If I'm going to the body, if I'm throwing what's called an inside hook, which we've gone over before in classes where my palm is facing the ground, I'm going to bring my body down to that level. Boom, to hit him with that three. That's my, my most ideal target when I'm going for a body shot is right into that liver area here, which is tucked just underneath that rib cage. So that I wanna come right to here. If I'm throwing a pro hook with my thumb up, I do not need to change my level. I can stand right in front of him and just come and throw right to that body, okay? Keeping my thumb up, boom. And I can come right to that area for my body or my head. I'm getting it elevated high enough. So you can see that this dummy is approximately about the same height as me. And that's what I'm envisioning even when I'm hitting a heavy bag, is I'm working with someone that's my height or even a little taller than me so I can work on conditioning my shoulders to be punching eye level to me. Okay, so even my threes need to be elevated up pretty good. Fours and fives, same target. I'm gonna come right into the middle of that heavy bag, right as if I Plexus. That's going to be my uppercut for my four and my five. If I'm working on a wrecking ball or an aqua bag or something that allows me to be able to come upright, then I'm going to be working at someone's chin. Same motion. Boom, as opposed to hitting him in the body, boom, or the head. Okay, same thing with a five. Right down Main Street, right in the middle. The solar plex, middle of the gut, or right directly underneath the chin. So I need to come in an upright motion to make that contact with my target, okay? So that's where we want to identify when we're hitting on the heavy back. Both hands are hitting the exact same spot, okay? Sixes, 
We get a lot of confusion sometimes about sixes and where they're supposed to land. The ideal target of where I want to land my six is going to be right in the same spot I'm landing a one and a two. My body is being creating, creating an angle which is going to allow me to come right over the top and straight down the middle at my target. So if I was hitting him right dead in the mouth, boom! Shifting my body just like if I were slipping, okay? Slipping to the left, but I'm throwing my right hand. That's giving me an angle to come right down the middle, okay? Slip, boom, right through the middle with my six. And that's gonna be my ideal target. It's not gonna be horrible if I hit the guy on the side of the face or even on the side of the chin, but my ideal target is gonna be right here. So when we're hitting a heavy bag, we wanna identify that middle of his face, the same spot my one and my twos hit, and my six is gonna come right into that area there. Okay, but remember, the angle of my body is what's going to help me line that up right down the middle. If I stay over here, I've gotta come around to try and get my target into the middle of the face, which is gonna open me up and widen up my shot. So if I angle my body to create my right hand lined up with my target already, boom, there I can go right down the middle very easy. Relax my shoulder to get it up and over the top so I can reach my target with very little effort. A seven is gonna be similar, but it's actually the combination of a three and a, and a six put together. So the targeting area is still gonna be mostly on the side of the head, similar to a three. But I am coming up and over the top. Or side of the forehead would be the ideal target because I'm trying to elevate my shot up above my opponent's gloves. If he's got him here and I can't get to his chin, I'm trying to come up over the top of those gloves and come over here. So it's the opposite of my six. I'm going to give myself that angle with my body. I'm going to lean the opposite direction and come over the top so that I can strike the side of my opponent's head for that seven. And an eight, last and final. In legends, we teach eights to the body. They are right hooks to the body here at legends. Now that is not boxing standard and that's not standard across the world. That's just here at legends. But we want to, to always teach that we're hitting the body here. inside to throw that body shot right to the side of his ribs or right in kind of the oblique area here to the side of the abdominal area that's going to be the ideal target i cannot go any further than right where you can see it saying embarrassing that is my furthest target that i can go behind or back to i cannot go behind that area that's an illegal punch to hit somebody in the back so this is as far around as i can come with my eight if I'm hitting it on a, on a heavy bag or on an individual. So we wanna target those areas. So I hope this video is gonna help you guys be able to imagine a person on the heavy bag, have a little bit more of an identifying area of where I need my targets to be. And so this will help you guys when you're doing things like free bag or when your coaches are calling out combinations, you can picture where I need to land those shots and be more effective with my punching and also my working out. Because remember guys, if you're here for the workout, Proper technique, proper form is always going to work you out more because you're having to use more muscle to make it done correctly, okay? So keep that stuff in mind. Keep watching, keep liking, keep commenting. Go on YouTube, go on Facebook. We have all of our how-tos. Study up, guys, and we'll see you in class next time.